Deep in our oceans hides a secret world. Thousands of illegal drug submarines, each carrying more than three tons of drugs, worth millions on the black market. The submarines are very well built and are hard to detect. But what happens when the U.S. Coast Guard comes face to face with these criminals? The scale of this underworld operation is growing day by day. How are they caught? What is found inside these shady submarines? It shouldn't surprise you that there have been quite a number of instances where the U.S. Coast Guard has intercepted huge drug trafficking operations. In fact, there are some pretty recent occurrences too. The event of September 2019 involving a submarine transporting illicit substances vividly underscored the critical importance of the U.S. Coast Guard. In a remarkable display of their capabilities, the U.S. Coast Guard intercepted and apprehended a submarine carrying a staggering 12,000 pounds of illicit drugs. This operation was a collaborative effort between the U.S. Coast Guard, U.S. Navy, and international partners. The interception took place in the eastern Pacific Ocean, a known hotbed for drug trafficking activities. The Coast Guard cutter Monroe, equipped with advanced surveillance and detection systems, detected the presence of a self-propelled mini-submersible vessel, or SPSS, navigating suspiciously in the open waters. The crew of the Monroe, supported by a Coast Guard helicopter and a U.S. Navy aircraft, initiated a high-speed pursuit of the SPSS. Despite the evasive maneuvers employed by the smugglers, the Coast Guard's relentless pursuit eventually led to the successful interdiction of the vessel. Upon boarding the submarine, the Coast Guard personnel discovered an astonishing haul of narcotics, 12,000 pounds of cocaine, with an estimated street value of $165 million. The seizure dealt a significant blow to drug trafficking organizations and disrupted their operations, preventing these dangerous substances from reaching our communities. The U.S. Attorney's Office in Tampa initiated legal proceedings against the four individuals who were apprehended. This isn't the only time the U.S. Coast Guard has been praised for their accomplishments. On June 18, 2019, the U.S. Coast Guard carried out a bold operation in the Eastern Pacific, successfully seizing yet another narco submarine laden with a whopping 17,000 pounds of cocaine. This entire operation was documented on video. As the hatch opened at the end of the one-minute video, a brief glimpse of a person inside the vessel became visible. The drugs confiscated during this operation were estimated to have a street value of $232 million. This particular operation was just one of 14 instances where drug smuggling vessels were intercepted off the coasts of Mexico, Central America, and South America by three Coast Guard cutters between May and July of that year. In total, during these three months, law enforcement authorities successfully confiscated 39,000 pounds of cocaine and 933 pounds of marijuana. Officials estimated the combined street value of these seized narcotics to be approximately $569 million. It's worth mentioning that these criminals are prosecuted. In their testimonies, they claimed they were under immense pressure and faced severe consequences if they did not comply with the demands of the criminal organizations. The cartels, known for their ruthless tactics and ability to instill fear, often use a combination of threats, violence, and financial incentives to compel individuals to participate in their illicit operations. The operators of narco submarines often come from vulnerable and marginalized communities where economic opportunities may be limited. In some cases, their families may be held hostage or subjected to harm if they refuse to cooperate. While coercion may be a mitigating factor in some cases, it does not absolve individuals of their criminal involvement. But the question arises, how are these submarines actually tracked, spotted, and captured? While the specific details regarding how and where narco submarines are spotted and detected are generally kept confidential and classified for security purposes, authorities occasionally provide information on their detection methods to the public. 
This is done to raise awareness, showcase their efforts, and deter potential criminals. However, it is important to note that authorities carefully vet the information they release to ensure it doesn't compromise ongoing investigations and compromise the safety of those involved. By selectively sharing information, authorities aim to strike a balance between maintaining operational security and keeping the public informed about their efforts to combat drug trafficking. Before 2008, when a semi-submersible was intercepted at sea, the crew would often sink the vessel along with the illicit cargo, leaving no evidence of drug trafficking. According to maritime law, the crew members were typically rescued and released without facing criminal charges. Seems unfair, doesn't it? To close this legal loophole, the U.S. introduced the Drug Trafficking Vessel Interdiction Act. This act made it a felony for individuals who knowingly or intentionally operated or boarded a self-propelled mini-submersible without nationality and who had either navigated or was navigating in international waters with the intent to evade detection. The penalty for such offenses can result in a prison term of up to 20 years in the United States. In the realm of maritime law enforcement, the sighting of a narco submarine sets the stage for a high-stakes battle on the open seas. When the U.S. Coast Guard spots a potential narco submarine, they dispatch fast response boats and aircraft to intercept it. Using technologies like infrared cameras and sonar, the Coast Guard works to track the sub's movement underwater. If it appears a smuggling run is underway, they try to force the sub to the surface. The Coast Guard's goal is to stop the illegal cargo and apprehend those involved without using force if possible. With patience and skill, they may wait for the sub to eventually emerge on its own so its crew can be arrested and any contraband seized. But sometimes specialized boarding teams armed with courage and resolve leap on to these elusive vessels in daring operations, engaging in fierce struggles with drug traffickers. Victory is achieved when the narco submarine is captured, its criminal crew apprehended, and a significant blow dealt to the dark forces profiting from drug trafficking. After a narco submarine is captured by the United States, it is typically taken to a secure location for further processing and investigation. The specific location may vary depending on the circumstances, but it's often a designated port or naval base. When it arrives at the secure location, it undergoes a thorough examination and search by law enforcement and naval personnel. This process aims to gather evidence, locate any hidden compartments or contraband, and identify those responsible for operating the vessel. Additionally, forensic experts may collect fingerprints, DNA samples, and other relevant evidence from the narco sub to support ongoing investigations and potential legal proceedings. Ultimately, the fate of the narco submarine may vary, could be dismantled, destroyed, or preserved for training purposes or public display, depending on the specific circumstances and the policies of the law enforcement agencies involved. But a question arises yet. Why narco submarines? Who invented these smart vessels? And are they expensive to make? Before we delve deep into the world of narco submarines, consider showing your appreciation and respect for our Navy sailors. How? by liking the video or leaving a blue heart in the comments, but also by becoming a member of our channel. Just click the link in the description or head to our homepage and click on join. By doing so, you not only support this channel, but also honor the brave men and women of the Navy, and you'll gain a wealth of knowledge about the maritime world. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thanks for that. Let's move on. Let's talk about the narco submarines. In the late 1980s, Colombian drug cartels faced detection challenges, prompting them to devise stealthier smuggling methods. By the early 1990s, this led to the advent of narco submarines, custom-built vessels designed for smuggling massive amounts of drugs. Crafted in hidden jungle sites with expertise from countries like Russia and Pakistan, these subs were equipped with advanced tech and operated by experienced crews. These narco subs are often modified from existing boats and are escorted by armed guards to ensure their safety of their valuable cargo. Despite their high construction cost, sometimes reaching $2 million, some are discarded after a single use, especially after delivering cargoes worth up to $232 million. 
In 2021 alone, 31 submarines were confiscated, showcasing the escalating drug trade's profitability. So who are the dedicated men and women of the U.S. Coast Guard that are tirelessly working to combat the criminal use of narco-subs? Let's take you through the workings of the mighty U.S. Coast Guard. The Coast Guard, founded in 1790 as a revenue cutter service, became the modern-day Coast Guard in 1915 after merging with other maritime agencies. It's one of the U.S. military's smaller branches, with around 41,500 active duty members, 7,800 reservists, and 8,300 civilian employees. Their operations span both the Atlantic and Pacific areas. Their fleet? A mix of vessels, aircraft, and helicopters, including cutters, patrol boats, icebreakers, and aircraft, dedicated to surveillance and search and rescue missions. The U.S. Coast Guard, USCG, is pivotal in keeping dangerous drugs away from U.S. shores. As part of the Department of Homeland Security, they battle against transnational organized crime networks in drug trafficking. Their strategy? Intercept drug shipments as close to their South American origins and as far from U.S. shores, leveraging intelligence to target efforts where drugs are most vulnerable at sea. The USCG collaborates internationally, forming maritime counter-drug agreements and sponsoring initiatives like the Multilateral Maritime Counter-Drug Summits. They've also partnered with the U.S. Southern Command through the Technical Assistance Field Team, or TAFT, to bolster Caribbean maritime forces. Highlighting their commitment, in 2014 alone, the USCG disrupted 164 drug attempts, seizing 93 vessels, and confiscating large amounts of narcotics. These operations showcase the critical role of the USCG. Without them, drug trafficking would soar, and U.S. maritime safety and security would be at risk. Regardless, just like the U.S. Navy, the U.S. Coast Guard is always striving to improve their ability to counter any challenges that come its way. New advancements are routine. Speaking of new advancements, currently, the primary methods used by U.S. agents to detect narco-subs is through towed sonar arrays. These arrays consist of long cables with underwater microphones that are dragged behind a ship. While they are effective in listening for potential targets, they can only be utilized in relatively deep water and have a limited range for sound detection. In some instances, advanced underwater robots known as bluefins can also be employed to listen for targets. However, these robots have their own limitations. Although they are more agile than surface ships, they can only detect targets within a few miles and face challenges in communicating their findings to human operators while submerged. Now that you have a good idea of these drug submarines and how they're actually captured, do you think there are better ways to detect them? Should the U.S. Navy intervene a lot more? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please show your support by giving it a like, dropping a blue heart in the comments, and considering becoming a member of our channel. For more information on membership benefits and how to join, check out the link in the description below. By subscribing and clicking the bell icon, you'll be notified whenever we unveil new content on the U.S. Navy and other fascinating maritime topics. Your support truly propels us forward, motivating us to dive deeper into the world of maritime education and entertainment. Thanks for being part of our community, and we can't wait to share more with you. We'll see you in the next video.